Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to hashtag late upload. I'm recording this at 9.21 p.m. What am I doing? Of course, I do not want to miss a daily upload, so I'm popping on real quick because I want to talk about the console ports and the future for FNAF AR. Now, most of this information, especially for the console ports, is kind of old news. But because I know a whole lot of people do not follow Click Team on Twitter, I thought I'd make a video covering mostly about the console ports. Because I feel like a lot more people have seen the news on Special Delivery because I've seen a lot more people talking about it and it was on the Reddit. So I'm going to quickly start off with the FNAF AR news and then we'll talk about the console ports. But first off, what is that I spy? <laughs> a viewer of my channel that's not subscribed? <laughs> cringe. When the console ports come out sometime soon, there's your little hint right there, we are going to be playing through the final two, Pizza Sim and Ultimate Custom Night, trying to beat 5020. And trust me, 5020 gets insane, you do not want to miss it, so I think you should hit that sub button. It's one button, it takes like one click, come on guys, I know you have it in you. I know it's late, but it's not that late that you can't just hit, hit the little sub button, and smash the like while you're down there too. So now let's start off with the FNAF AR news and what's to come with the future of the game. So when Magician Mango came out a couple of days ago, Illumix also posted an update on the game, and this is what it says. FNAF AR September update, Dark Circus, and more. Hello all! Have you been enjoying the Dark Circus while it's in town? We know you've all been patiently waiting for some more news, and maybe, just maybe, some clues as to what you might have to look forward to in FNAF AR this month and beyond. Our team here at Illumix has been doubling down, and we're always working hard on FNAF AR to make sure Sure that each delivery is extra special. September Special Deliveries Last week, Ringmaster Foxy welcomed all to the Dark Circus and Magician Mangle followed with their own amazing act. The Dark Circus still has two more performers that are on their way to perform before it leaves town. As to who they are, all we can say is that you might want to take a closer look at the Circus poster. At the end of this month, we'll have some brand new gameplay updates for you all, but more on that when the time comes. Characters, characters, characters. As we draw closer to October, there are so many exciting things that we have planned for you all. It will be an extremely awesome month, and our team has been pushing really hard to craft updates that will delight everyone. But now, just know that there will be multiple characters coming. That's just the least of it, but we've probably already revealed too much. We always have and continue to deeply appreciate the community's love and support of both our team and FNAF AR. These times are difficult and unprecedented, given COVID, all the natural disasters, and many worldwide events. Our team hopes that everyone has been able to stay as safe as possible. So it is a very long update, so let's take this piece by piece. So according to the update, the Dark Circus event still has two more performers to come. And so now taking a closer look at the poster for the Dark Circus, we can take a couple of guesses. Now unfortunately, it seems like not all of these um, hints are going to be for characters. I think memorizing dancers was definitely for Baloa, but now looking at it, I think Twisted Magic was um, Ringmaster Foxy, and then Ravenous Animals is most likely um, Magician Mangle. So all that's left now is fun with clowns, and then of course the fun time footy easter egg, but we've already covered that. Fun with clowns, I really, really, really do hope it is going to be a clown skin for Balloon Boy. He can have like a giant red balloon, he can have a lot of um, clown makeup. I think if they pull it off well, it, it would be a good skin. And so after that skin, we will have Funtime Freddy. That is my guess, unless it is Lefty, but that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. If it's sticking with um, Baloa, because normally they like to release characters in groups, then I think releasing Funtime Freddy is the most likely option. At the end of the month, they'll have brand new gameplay updates. Now this one I'm unsure about, because if you guys remember correctly, they called the Challenges a new gameplay update, which is not a new gameplay update at all. So what that update is, honestly, my hopes are not all that all that high. Because again, if they call the challenges a, a gameplay update, I, I feel like they're probably gonna pull some sort of bull crap on us. I highly doubt it is a new mode, even though we have been asking for that for many, many months at this point. I really have no clue. Of course, I have my hopes, but I feel like if I say them, then I will immediately regret it because when the update comes out, it'll just be something completely terrible because that's what Illumix does best with these new gameplay updates. So while I do have my hopes, 
Um, they are not all that high, unfortunately. As we draw closer to October, they say there's gonna be a lot of characters coming, multiple characters, um, and that they have a lot of exciting things planned. As well as that's just the least of it, um, which I, I don't know how to think about that because again, I, I want to have high hopes, but at the same time, based off of everything we've seen for nearly the past year, it's hard to get my hopes up with this game. A lot of people, I've seen a lot of people speculate that it could be the Nightmare animatronics, and while I do hope it is them, because October, of course, Nightmare, Halloween, it's gonna fit perfectly, I, I don't, again, my hopes are not all that high because it just is FNAF AR. Again, I would love to see the Nightmare characters, um, I feel like they would make a great addition, not sure how their mechanic would go, because in FNAF 4 they are, you have to like peek out behind the door and you have to listen to them, so probably something to do with sound, um, I just don't know how else they would incorporate that. I would not want them to bring back the noise meter, I would want them to create something entirely different for these new group of characters, um, but at this point really we just have to wait and see what's gonna happen. So moving on to the release dates for the console ports, I am happy to announce that they will most likely, fingers crossed, hopefully be coming out this month. Flick team has been replying to a lot of comments on Twitter recently and I'm gonna share a select few. Mr. Uh, Mr. Cum 101 says, You have 10 days, do not disappoint me. In reference to Click Team saying we will wrap all seven initial console ports by mid September at the latest, Click Team replies with, We are doing our best. We still have to work with the console companies, but don't have complete control of the dates. Xbox and Switch are still looking good, still working with Sony. Someone else says, wasn't UCN and Pizzeria Simulator for console supposed to come out this month? Click Team replied with still working on it. So based off of these replies, I think it's pretty safe to say that Xbox and Switch will be releasing sometime late this month, because as of the recording of this, it is the 13th, which you could argue is about mid-September. So I think Xbox and Switch will be late this month, maybe? just maybe early next month, and then Sony will follow um, shortly behind. Because fucking Sony, I don't know what's up with them, but they have, Click Team has just had a terrible um, connection with them. Again, I don't know what's going on over there. If you guys remember during the release of Sister Location, there was something going on over at their end, over at Sony's, which just completely screwed up release dates, so I don't know what's up with Sony and these ports, but I am very excited about this because the console ports I have secretly been very looking forward to. That sentence didn't make a whole lot of sense, but it's 9.30, forgive me. I feel like with the whole um, confusing release date of Security Breach, I have been secretly really looking forward to these ports. And I don't know why, right? It's the same game, just on a different platform, but I don't know, I'm just so excited to play it. It might be because of 50-20, it might be because I want to play through Pizza Sim again because I'm relearning just how much I love that game. It's so fun. I don't know, but I'm just really looking forward to them. So that is all of the updates. I'm making it quick so I can hopefully get this video out on time today. Again, I'm really looking forward to everything that is coming in the future for FNAF. So yeah, that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. I know it is extremely late. You all should go to bed and I will see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. Go to bed.